Kamoon is a first-person physics puzzle game that is available in both VR and uh, in uh, regular flat screen. What would we call what do we call those now? Non-VR. How about that? It's available on Steam for $4.99 and also has a DLC expansion pack that adds a bunch more levels for an additional $4.99. The game is very straightforward, puzzle after puzzle, and that's pretty much it. You have a cute little character, there's no story or anything, it's not like Portal where there's stuff going on while you're doing all of these tests, you're just basically there to bounce your balls off walls and knock over blocks, and that's pretty much it. Now what makes this video extra special is it's the first time that I got VR sickness, and it's on the tape or film or one to zero, so you actually see it. I stopped recording the game, but I forgot to stop recording the webcam. Uh, thankfully I didn't do anything embarrassing, but uh, you'll be able to see my reaction. I'll talk a little bit about what I'm feeling, and you'll be able to see my face. <laughs> what, what my face looks like when I'm really ready to blow chunks all over the monitor. I know you guys have been waiting for this moment, come on. Okay, so the first thing we should probably jump into is see what the uh, what the settings are. This is actually pretty interesting. The, the the whole thing here is actually pretty massive, and I can actually change this. This is actually probably one of the one of the most confusing things I've seen so far uh, in any virtual reality play game that I played. Uh, is that when I go to advanced graphics, I have an FOV slider, and I don't know understand why, because uh, it doesn't actually change my field of view. It just kind of makes things glitch out a little bit if, you, if you're seeing that, right? So I'll put it I'll put it at uh, whatever its default was. I think it was right there. Uh, then I have a couple other things, transparent, I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but bloom, HUD, direct light, etc, etc. Okay, so we're good. Let's go back over here and other options, uh, the graphic options. We have the ability to do a third person or first person point of view. And then we will, and every time I click something, it like, kind of has a little bit of a glitch. It's funny, everything has some kind of glitch or some kind of something. There's some kind of weird quirk to it. Nothing is actually pretty, nothing is solid so far in, uh, in VR, and it's really, really amusing how it's like, it's a new thing! Everyone's kind of like, just, oh yeah, this should work, and then it doesn't work. It's like, okay, let's back to the drawing board, let's figure it out. Uh, so go back, back. Alright, so as you can see, it's a ballistic physics puzzle. And in this room itself, there's plenty of depth, it's kind of interesting. If I click on that, it takes me back to Steam VR. we don't want to do that. So let's go and click on this to play. Demo. Uh, this is the full version of the game. <laughs> so I guess it's just maybe the character name. We'll find out. I have six levels here. Alright. It better be the full version. I pay money for this thing. Dang. Let me just just take a look around the room here. You always want to check and see what's around you, right? Okay. So we have the ability to twist and turn here. Which is probably very, very, very nauseating to people at home when I'm going like this, right? And then here, this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen so far. What's up? <laughs> I could be here all day doing this. Uh, Alright, so I've only completed the first couple levels here. <clears throat> Just gotta get the gist, right? Gotta get the gist. Oh, back over here, this is the uh, the control scheme. So you can look around and everything. And it's actually very, very interesting the way you move, right? Because you want to move with this, which you can. You could totally move like this, but you can't look up and down, right? This is basically to compensate for if I look around, I can move that way, right? I got my head's that way, right? And that's pretty much it. So I'm looking up and down, and then if I look this way, I feel like I should push forward and go, but that's not the case, right? I have to actually move my body by rotating using the right thumbstick. So... It's actually, if it, at first I thought it was going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but uh, in reality, it's actually, in virtual reality, it's actually not too bad. Alright. So it says, I'm getting 50 FPS, thank you for telling me that. And then I slap these things around for a minute. And then over here... Oh! Hey! Alright! Good job, me. Okay, now... These gave me trouble last time. So basically, I have to shoot these things. Shouldn't be too hard. There's a little bit of bullet drop there. Oh my god, this is the same one that gave me trouble last time. Just, just go. Oh my god. What the hell?! <laughs> what the... <laughs> just there! Oh god! All right, next room, next room. <sighs> You're kidding me. There are the rules here, what's this one say? Oh, bounce, so bounce shots, all right. 
I don't know why they're so difficult. And look at the counter. I says how many bounces. There we go. Okay. I should be able to do this. Like from here. I mean, technically, I got it, right? Yeah. I'm imagining these are probably going to get pretty difficult. I've not gotten this far. We're, we're uncharted territory now. There's only six of them, so I can't imagine this that much. That was kind of neat. So let's, uh... What? What did I do wrong? Hold on a second. What are the rules at? 72 out of 130. Oh, hold on a second. I did something wrong. How did I reset? They push one of the other buttons here. Let's, oh, reset right there. There we go. Let's do it again. Okay, so what are the rules here? It says I need to... Okay, let's figure this out. I'm gonna give me 12. Alright, let's try a bounce shot then. That still barely gave me anything else. Here, let's try this. Let's try to bounce off each other. That didn't bounce the record it should have. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Alright, let's do this right. Ninety-five. Oh, jeez. This was all the bounce shots, weren't they? Oh. Let's jump and then launch. Whoa! <laughs> and then there's this one. Oh, there's a couple more over here. Let's see if we can get them with a the bounce. Oh, psh. oh, fine. Whatever. Next. Jesus. Oh, it's gonna make me do the same thing over and over again. No, I'm bad at this apparently. Oh, let's shoot it up here. No? What are you doing? Okay, well, let's try then this. Maybe you shoot in between them and then have a double bounce. That does not work. Oh, uh, actually, it would have worked if I just hit it just right. That's not right. Yeah! Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Bigger room, my score. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. See those bounce. Each one count counts as two. That's what the number's for. Two, three. These guys, these guys, we could do this. Let's see, eight, two, that four. Oh, so close. Not exactly what I wanted. I mean, close. Let's try to dip at least on some of these here. Oh my god. Well, you know what? I just need a. Uh... I'm good. I'm good. One, two, and then. Three, four, five, whatever. Ta-da! We're good. There's one more in here somewhere. <laughs> Just get... <laughs> Just get the goddamn thing! Ah, thank you! Congratulations to me. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, wow. Well, hold on. Zero out of 40. Okay, so it's just... How am I even supposed to... Okay, that was two, because it bounced. It's good. Aiming with your head is very difficult. Your head wants to, to move around. Okay, pretty good. Doing pretty good. There's lots and lots of things to shoot here, so we're definitely doing quite well for ourselves. I think 
Yeah, 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 because there's plenty more right over here and whatnot. I don't want to jump down because... Oh, one, it looks very, very far. Two... Oh, looks like we're going! Oh, hey! My little robot's pretty uh, good at this, actually. Alright, so we could just basically cash in on the rest, looks like. Have the uh, we would have enough from those first couple bounces to probably finish this off. You score 26. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm good. There's a bunch down there too. What am I at? 31. Okay. Well, hopefully. Jeez. Oh, uh, nauseating. This slow descent. Uh oh. Oh, shall I have six? Hold on. That's not good. Uh, well, that's not gonna work, so... GG. Nope, it's not. Totally not. Uh... Yeah, I didn't make it. So, how do I reset this from here? Oh, wait, hold on. Is it gonna let me go anyways? 37 out of 40. Nah, no, this is the reset now. Ah, uh, The slow descent is like... Ugh. Okay. So, how do I... If I can, Jeez. How? can't bury my head any farther into my chest. That's not what I want. Come on, there we go. Come on, get on. What are you doing? Get off the edge. There we go. Maybe if that hits those things, it'll do more. Whatever. Let's we'll go down and join them. Okay, now let's figure out how to double dip on these over here. Might not be too hard if I hit it this way. Ah, oh, that was not enough. I need threes on those. Oh, not even enough. Wait, how do I... Is that my speed? Super speed. And then that's it. No, that's not enough. Not enough. Do it over. Why is that drifting? Oh, because I'm moving. <laughs> break from this and I did I never came back to the game I just could not bring myself to to I couldn't put myself through that again the the game is fine you have an FOV slider and everything that you can you can adjust whenever you're playing uh in not in a non-VR environment but it, the VR the, the FOV that would set up for you in your headset does not quite feel right uh, the FPS was fine. I've actually played Subnautica that had massive FPS drops, and I was fine with that for hours. Uh, but for some reason, this game that I only played for like 15-20 minutes, it was killing me. And here's the here's the interesting thing about uh, VR sickness. Now, I, I when I was younger, I used to experience a little bit of motion sickness, uh, but mostly when like you know you go to you go to the fair, you go to a theme park, and you down a bunch of food, and then you jump on a stupid ride that spins you around, does nothing, nothing, but just spins you around or just hangs you upside down, and just that's it. I hate those rides, but. Yeah, I've experienced a little bit of sickness. You, know, you get off, you're like, oh, man, that sucked. And you feel like you're going to throw up, but you don't. And then you pretty much walk it off and you're good. But in this case, I could not shake it. I was actually going, I, I went outside, took a deep breath, kind of like you would if you're at, you know, fair or, or a theme park. Uh, and I could not shake the feeling. It, I just felt like, and here I am, I'm basically jumping back into it to see if I could do it. And I just can't hang. Uh, I, 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 I decided to... Uh, actually get up and just go lay down and I had to go to sleep because nothing I did was was helping me shake the feeling. I took a, a glass of water, uh, again I went outside, 
Uh, I try wash my face, you cold water, warm water. I mean, I tried everything. I just couldn't do it. I felt like I was going to throw up the entire time. And it lasted for about two and a half hours. It was the longest I've ever felt that kind of uh, sickness uh, induced by, you know, some kind of you know, external uh, environmental thing. Uh, and it was it, it was it was pretty intense. Uh, now I'm not saying this game's gonna cause this this kind of effect for for just anybody because I don't know what the problem is. VR sickness, if you'd call it that, is actually still I guess relatively new. Uh, and so I don't know what element it was that was doing that. Could it be the FOV was too tight? Maybe. Could it be the uh, maybe the way that the it was tracked? It wasn't tracked the way it was supposed to. Maybe. Uh, but again, I, but you know I'm recording several games in a row. Uh, like probably played another two or three games on the same day, uh, and I had this headset on for hours. But the second I played this game, that was it done, and I was wiped out. So that's it. The game is called Kamoon. Uh, don't attribute my uh, my VR sickness to uh, to the game, especially if you're gonna play it in uh, on a two D two D space, right, in a regular monitor. Uh, obviously, you'll be fine then. But but that's it. My name is Mike B A K Phony. Any for breakfast. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.